this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech doing a patron pack opening. Now it's been about two months since I've done one of these, so I've got a bunch of them to catch up on. I'm actually gonna be changing the way that I do these a little bit. Um, I have been sending out emails, asking people what packs they want, that type of thing, and it tends to delay it a little bit uh, because I need to wait for everybody to get back to me. Um, the way that I'm gonna be doing these in the future is I'm just gonna be choosing a pack uh, from standard that I think has some really good stuff in it and do that for the pack opening. Um, I'm also just gonna throw in some other random cool stuff as I can, which I'm going to be starting with this video. I've also got a bunch of other stuff to announce at the end of the video after we get through the pack openings. Uh, since some of these have taken a little bit longer than 30, 45 days, I'm just doing two packs for everyone. So everybody involved in this one uh, gets a bonus pack. Let's dive in and hopefully get some really cool stuff here. Uh, definitely tune in at the end of the video for some of the announcements for things that are going on on with the channel. Um, I'm gonna start right here with Colin and I'm doing two packs for Colin. Okay, we're gonna be doing a Oath of the Gatewatch and a Cons of Tarkir pack. Got Ma of Kozilek, Mighty Leap. This is one of my favorite combat tricks. Sky Scour, Elemental Uprising, Volpart Chain Mage, Gravity Negator, Hedron Crawler, Vampire Envoy. I actually like this guy a lot as a 1-4. He's able to block a lot of the smaller stuff. Scion Summoner. Reckless Bushwhacker. Jora Auxiliary. With six support there. Immobilizer Eldrazi. Needle Spire is the rare. That is a solid dual land for standard. I like it a lot. Oh wow, this is, that's very nice. This is the first one that we've gotten out of a uh, patron pack opening. This is an Expedition Land Mystic Gate. This is a wonderful way to start things off. Congratulations, Colin. This is a solid, modern, playable filter land. That's just incredible. Very, very nice way to start the day off. Oh, that's just a beautiful, beautiful card there right out of the beginning. Super nice. And we've got our full art land and our token. And let me take a second here and look at what the draft pick is. I like Reckless Bushwhacker. Um, I like the Vampire Envoy a lot. As I mentioned earlier, um, I like the Mighty Leap. I don't know, I'm so distracted by the fact that we got our first expedition here on the channel. I'm almost shaking. Ah, oh, very cool. Um, I don't know, in this pack, I actually, I really like the vampires. I like having a 1-4 flyer. Um, oh, that's probably not the right pick, though. Um, Gravity Negator um, is very, very good. Yeah, I think Gravity Negator is probably the top pick here. Ah, oh, congratulations. Very nice way to start this patron pack opening. Let's move on to a Cons of Tarkir. Okay, we've got Aerostorm. Very, very cool little combat uh, trick, although it's, it's a sorcery. Um, so it's more of a removal spell. You have to play it post-combat to get the raid out of it. Mudar Horde Chief. Mardu Skull Hunter. Well, and the raid on this one I actually um, really like. It gets you a nice tempo going, gets you a head on cards. Feed the Clan. Snow Rider. Siege Craft. Tamir Banner. 
singing bell strike. I like this a lot. Uh, this is basically removal in your tempo decks. Um, you can also occasionally even use it on your own creature so that you can attack and defend in a longer game. Bloodfire Mentor. Scoured Barrens. Scion of Glaciers. Uh, Jeskai Charm. Oh. Not sure what the rare is here yet, but be really tough not to pick this. This does commit you to three colors, but four damage target opponent isn't bad. Put a creature on top of their library is great, and creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and lifelink. It's a blowout combat trick at times. I really like this card. Death Frenzy, decent card there. Um, Altar of the Brood. Whenever another permanent enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent puts the top card of his or her library in the graveyard. You really need a mill strategy to make this work. Limited decks are very small, but I, I've had trouble making it work in cons at all. So Jeskai Charm is definitely the top pick for me. Um, followed by maybe Singing Bell Strike. If you've got a different choice on the picks here, definitely let me know in the comments. Um, very nice. Let's put this pal off to the side, and we're moving on to some Oath of the Gatewatch for Jur. Okay, we've got a Negate, Spark Mage Gambit, Shoulder to Shoulder. It's nice that it draws a card. It is sorcery speed, though. It doesn't really work as a combat trick. Pulse. A natural endurance. Can actually work as a decent combat trick. The regenerate, plus two. Very nice. Finds of the recluse. Another solid combat trick. Vampire envoy. Path warden. Trample, Vigilance, 5-4. That's a beast. That's actually now 4 here, but still a great card. Uh, Goblin Freerunner. Allied Reinforcements put two 2-2 two, two white ally tokens onto the battlefield. Decent card. Reaver Drone, 2-1 Devoid. Uh, Relentless Hunter. 3-3 three, three with the ability to get larger and get trample. I like this in limited quite a bit. Uh, Reality Smasher. Okay, that is a powerhouse. We're pulling some good stuff today. Reality Smasher. Trample. Haste. 5-5. Five, five. Whenever Reality Smasher becomes the target of a spell an opponent controls, counter that spell unless its controller discards a card. So it really forces a two-for-one. This is one of the best standard playable, modern playable, legacy playable uh, Eldrazi out there. Great card. We're, we're doing really well on these packs. And then we've got Lead by Example as a foil here, your full art land, zombie token with some cool artwork. Well, obviously Reality Smasher is by far the best pick here. Um, Relentless Hunter is solid. I like the combat tricks here, and I like the vampire also, but Reality Smasher just takes the day. We, we've got some solid packs going on here. This is good. Let's move on to the second Oath of the Gatewatch here. Uh, Dazzling Reflection. Slip through space. I like that combat. The ability to get through your damage. Um... Instant, plus three, plus one, trample till end of turn, brute strength. I'm not really a fan of this card. In the right aggro deck, it's good, but it never seems to work out for me. Um, Canopy Gorger, a nice 6-5. Kozilex Translator, devoid, pay a life to add colorless mana to your mana pool. Lead by example. Return. Oh, swept away. Return target creature to its owner hand. If that creature is attacking, you may put it on top of owner's library instead. This is the type of tempo card I really, really like. If we don't have a bomb, this is, would actually be my top pick because I like playing those aggressive tempo decks. See, there's Lantern. Decent card overall. Scry. The ability to ramp. Good. Um, Oblivion Strike, Devoid Exile Target Creature. Uh, I like this a lot. Great removal. 
Spawn Binder Mage. Tap an untapped ally you control and this guy. Tap target creature. So it's a two for tapper. Not my favorite. Uh, Cinder Baron. Solid. Balif Null. Four five here. He enters the battlefield. Return up to two target creature cards from graveyard to hand. Wall of Resurgence. Defender. When it comes into play, it enters the battlefield. You may put three plus one plus one counters on target land you control. If you do, it becomes a creature elemental with haste. I like this card a lot. Gives you a three, three and a zero six. Oh, Goblin Dark Dwellers. Wow, we are getting some great cards here. We haven't seen this played yet in a post Eldrazi modern. And if it's gonna shine, that's where it's gonna shine. I look forward to seeing this card in a Jund build after I and or Temple are banned in modern. This has a lot of potential as a card. Wow, we've got some great packs going here. Congratulations. Now let's move on to Aaron here, who is interested in Cons of Tarkir. Investment-wise, this is one of my favorite sets. Just having the fetch lands in here and then fetch lands in foil gives you so many opportunities. Oh, uh, pick on the last pack. Goblin Dark Dweller um, is solid. Let me go back to that for just one second. Uh, Wall of Resurgence is also really, really good for the pick. Okay, moving back here. Ooh, got a little bit of printer marks on this. Um, Smite the Monstrous. Uh, decent removal. Glacial Stalker, Canopy Lurkers, Salt Road Patrol, Bitter Revelation, Sagu Archer, Highland Game, 2-1, gains you some life, uh, Tranquil Cove, solid. Secret here, you gotta have the right deck for it. If you pull it late, not so good. Jeskai Banner. I'm not a fan of the banners, actually. I would much rather have a color-correcting land. Suspension Field, very solid removal. Uh, this is looking like my pick so far. Heart Piercer Bow. Crackling Doom. Crackling Doom deals two damage to each opponent. Each opponent sacrifices a creature with its greatest power among the creatures he controls. Okay, Crackling Doom is clearly the pick. Although a close second in suspension field, I definitely like removal out of this set. And Crackling Doom is a solid card. Uh, this bonus pack, uh, it's going to be a little tough for me to read. It's going to be in German. We're going to cruise through the pack a little bit uh, quicker. I picked this up while I was over in Germany. Got a chance to get a nice uh, German fetch out of this. Offering there. Oh, Hooting Mandrels. I like this card a lot in Modern. This is a great card. Counterspell there. Uh, Seeker of the Way, very, very solid card. Um, the lifelink matters a lot. This is a great early pick, although Hooting Mandrels is also a really good pick. I'm not going to try to pronounce these because I can't pronounce anything in English. Um, it should be Jeskai Ascension. Uh, this could be a solid combo card in Modern, definitely is in EDH. Uh, nice one to have there. We've got our land and our German morph token. Very nice. So we got Crackling Doom and Jeskai Ascension. Uh, top pick is probably the Mandrel. Um, or definitely the Seeker. That's a tough one. I'd probably actually go with the Seeker. I like the white uh, deck. Okay, we're going to move on to some Oath of the Gatewatch here. Mattis. Uh, please forgive me if I screw up anybody's name. I'm really bad at pronouncing everything. Uh, but we've got some good packs going here tonight. 
see what we can get out of some oath packs. Aeronaut, 1 3 Flyer, Truce of Interference, Spark Mage Gambit, Chain Mage there, Elemental Uprising, Gravity Negator, this is a solid pick, Bone Saw, Scion Summoner, Spawn Binder Mage, Cinder Hellion, Spatial Contortion, a very nice removal card, Relief Captain. Havoc Sower. Fall of the Titans. So Fall of the Titans deals X damage to each of up to two target creatures and or players. This is an X spell. It takes a lot of damage. Your surge, you may cast it for its surge cost if you or a teammate has already cast another spell. So it brings it down to just being a uh, kind of a super powered fireball if you've cast something else. Not ideal with X in the casting cost, uh, but still decent card to put into a red limited. Um, I'm not sure that it would actually be better than several of the other cards here, although I haven't actually played with it much. Um, I would probably grab it hoping to trigger the surge or to use it as removal. Go to planes, night ally here. Let's move on to a second. Oath of the Gatewatch. Got the Entangler here, Brute Strength, Mighty Leap, Gorger, Shrieker. Lead by example, Cinder Hellion, Waste, very nice. Um, Isle Avenger, Warden, Breathing Hulk, Spatial Contortion, very nice removal. Ruin in their wake, solid ramp card there. Then the card's Resurgence. Uh, whenever you tap a land for mana, add one mana to your mana pool of any type that land produces. Whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. Wonderful win more card. It's seven casting costs, though. Not taking it in limited. I think I'm actually going with either um, Ruin in their wake or sport Spatial Contortion. I like having the removal um, here overall. Glad that we also got the waste in here. I think we're going to see Waste again in the future, but they're not going to be the cool full art ones. Uh, so I'm definitely picking up foils and even non-foil Waste right now. Okay, Shames. Um, Shames was asking for an Origin Pack. Unfortunately, I don't have an Origin Pack. I hope that a Concept Tark here and an Oath of the Gatewatch work out. Um, hopefully we'll pull some cool stuff here. Uh, if neither pack is good, I'll throw in an Origins pack for you to open and uh, do a video for. But hopefully we get something great out of these packs. Okay, what do we got here? Trumpet Blast. Salt Road. Disdainful Stroke. Decent Counterspell. Um, Bond Kin. Feed the Clan. The Banner. Tormenting Voice. Bloodfell's Cave. Alabaster Kirin. 2-3 Flying Vigilance, I actually really like a lot. Uh, Abomination, a little bit rough to cast. If you can get it out, though, it's great. Has been Battle Priest. Okay, Warden of the Eye. I do like this card quite a bit. If you're already in Jeskai, I probably wouldn't first pick it, though. Um, Agropolis Fiend? Looks like it's got a terrible casting cost in 9. Uh, but I've actually got this guy out a few times in Limited, kind of threw him in as one of my uh, last few cards. And with Delve, he is actually easier to get out than you would think. Um, activating that second ability is a little bit rough, but even having a four or five body is very nice. I would probably go with the Fiend, uh, the Warden if I was already in Jeskai. Yeah. I, uh, um, 
Corinne is also a, a solid choice here. Okay, let's move on to the second Oath of the Gatewatch pack. A Brute Strength, Core the Scythe Master, Comparative Analysis, Lead by Example, Untamed Hunger, Minds of the Recluse, Containment Membrane, Hedron Crawler, Tar Snare, Stalking Drone, Prophet of Distortion, Reckless Bushwhacker, uh, Flay Drone, 3 1, First Strike. Whenever another colorless creature enters the battlefield, target player loses a life. I like that a lot. Hissing Quagmire, the 2 2 Death Touch land. Uh, that is looking like my first pick. Uh, probably followed by the Flare Drone. Ah, my favorite artwork on the Zendikar stuff. And a Scion there. Right, down to four more packs here. We're doing some concept Tarkir um, for Dimitri. Good luck on the cons. Bloodfire Expert, Feet Resistance, Cancel, Swift Kick, Debilitating Injury, Smoke Teller, Jeskai Banner, Naturalize, uh, Jungle Hollow, Secret there, Goblin Sly, Pine Walker, Solid 5-5. Five five. Got a morph there also. Uh, Tusk Guard Captain. Trail of Mystery. Whenever a face down creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may search your library for a basic land, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Whenever a permanent you control is turned face up, it gets plus two, plus two till end of turn. If you got a bunch of morph, it's actually a very solid card. But you've got to have the morph to support it, which can be a little bit uh, rough at times. My top pick here, oh, we're actually pretty short on removal also, which is what I would take. I don't know, the Pine Walker is decent. Just taking mana fixing is not a terrible idea. Um, minus two, minus two is almost removal. Not actually thrilled with this pack. Clear, curious what your particular choice would be in this situation. Um, yeah, I think I go for one of the one of the medium-sized creatures or the minus two, minus two to creatures or the mana fixing. That's a tougher pack for a first choice out of it. Let's move on to the second pack here. Uh, flock, Leaping Master. I like that card a lot. Uh, Treasure Cruise. Uh, that's a solid pick, even in limited. Feed the clan, bitter revelation. One ordinary generator just doesn't do it here. Some nice color fixing. Dread claw, swift wing, watcher roost, dead drop. Target player sacrifices two creatures, and it's got delve. This card either works great or it fails miserably because you're dead and you can't cast it. Um, if you're playing a control deck, I definitely like this. Uh, Pro Legation. Yeah, that's a solid card. Uh, seven casting costs. Prowess. Return three lands to their owner's hand. Return Pro Legation to its owner's hand. Now, that's lands you control, but it's, it's a way to keep this guy out there. Um, I like him a lot. Especially if you can get him out there early enough. If you got a ramp style deck, um, ooh, got a lot of control cards here. I, I think if you grab the Pro Lake Agent, Dead Drop is going to come back around. Um, your other option here is really just going for the super aggressive deck. Uh, okay, Treasure Cruise is your top pick. Outside of Treasure Cruise, um, oh, I like the Leaping Master also. So you can either go for a fast or a slow deck, but I'm going for Treasure Cruise. Two more packs here, and then I've got a special pack opening after this, and then a bunch of announcements. Felipe. Let's open some cons and hope for something great. OK, 
Kenny Lurkers, Smite the Monstrance, uh, Molting Snakeskin, Wooly Loxodon. I like this. This is actually a ramp card, keeps you alive a little bit. Act, ooh, Act of Treason is a great card. Uh, the Efreet, Siegecraft, Thorn Wall. Um, two damage to target creature and tap a creature. Great for your tempo decks. We've got a lot of good cards in here. Armament, Mantis, and Jeskai Ascendancy. Another really good card. Um, and a Foil Singing Bell Strike. God, half these cards are limited playable. Nice stuff. Um, I like the Bell Strike, but and the Winter Flame. And if you grab the Winter Flame, the Bell Strike might come back around. Probably not, though. Um, Smite the Monstrous might come back around. So many good choices here. Winter Flame. Act of Treason. Oh, that Act, act of Treason seems to be a little bit off-centered there. Look at it compared to the rest of the cards. It's cut really high. Nice. A little bit off-centering. Not enough to be miscut. It'd be nice if we saw another card on there, but uh, very cool for the oddities. Um, I'd either take Act of Treason or uh, Winter Flame. And our Jeskai Ascendancy can also be really good. So many good choices in that pack. Curious what other people's pick would be. One more here. Um, Mardu Hate Blade. I'm oh, sorry, Flock. Rotting Mastodon. Savage Punch. A Mystic of the Hidden Way. This is a way to get through your final points of damage. I really like this guy. Um, interesting. These are all kind of cut a little bit to the top. I wonder if it's a box. Um, Summit Prowler. Sultai Banner. Asban Crin. Thornwood Falls. Jeskai Scout. Uh, Ruthless Ripper. Set a Drift. Nomad Outpost, nice color fixing there. And Asban Ascendancy. Enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. Whenever a non-token creature dies, put a Flying Spirit into play. I like this a lot in Limited. I definitely would have to grab it first. Uh, but beyond the rare, that's where things get a little bit more interesting here. Um, I like the Kryn. I like Mystic of the Hidden Way, but I can usually pick him up third or fourth. Um, Color fixing is not bad. Uh, Ruthless Ripper with Death Touch is also solid, but I think I just go for uh, the 2 1 Flying Prowess creature. This is going to be my other really early pick. So many good choices in these packs. Congratulations there. Uh, so I'm going to do one more fun pack opening here and then get to the announcements. Uh, I'm doing a Modern Masters pack opening. I'm just going to be opening it up. Um, showing off the cards that are here, talking about what my draft pick is, and then uh, randomly distributing it to each of the individuals that I did patron pack openings for. So hopefully you get something amazing here. Okay. Oh, very macabre. Frogmite. Scout here. Uh, Latchkey Fairy. Rathy Trapper. Torment of Stone, Echoing Truth, very solid card. Fury Charm, Raven's Crime, I really like this card in the right deck. Um, we've got the Ancient here, Fungus. Um, Rift Sweeper, one of the few ways to get removed cards back into decks. Exiled Cards. Cloud Goat Ranger, very, very solid card. Probably my pick in limited. A 3-3 that comes into play with three more creatures. Um, can also gain flying and turn into a 5-3. Very, very... Oh, the nice... I talk about how great that is, and then we get Mold Drifter. Mold Drifter is a powerhouse in limited and playable in constructed decks during its time. This is a great card also. I would clearly pick the Mold Drifter until we see something better. And then we get Gifts Ungiven. Very, very, very powerful limited card. Hell of a lot of fun to play. Go get four cards. You're going to get two of them. Um, if you've got some graveyard recursion, you can just go grab two cards. They both go to the graveyard and you get those things back. I love this card. Great card overall. Let's see what our foil is. Tide Hollow Scholar. Very, very nice foil. Playable card in modern. Um, doesn't see a lot of play, but I think that it's a lot stronger than people really give it credit for. 
Um, I like being able to attack my opponent's hand, especially in a very aggressive tempo deck. Okay, I'm going to be randomly distributing these. Uh, we've got a bunch of stuff here that I'm going to be giving away. Uh, I'm not sure the exact details, but I'm going to do a whole video on the giveaway. I just want to let you guys know about it first. Um, so the angel tokens there obviously go to anyone who um, does pack openings. As long as I've got them, I just throw them in when I send people the cards. Um, but we've got a draft set of Innistrad there that a friend of the channel, John, was willing to donate. Uh, thank you so much, John. That's very, very nice of you. Um, I am going to um, raffle it off and as a complete set. I'm going to put some conditions on it, which the new owners of it hopefully follow, but it's going to become their cards. They can do what they want. Um, hopefully the draft set, which includes the cards you need to uh, play with Innistrad, Dark Ascension, and Avacyn Restored, um, that they actually run a draft uh, with some friends. Uh, if those individuals are close, like within 200 miles of Seattle, um, I, I will hand deliver it, uh, participate or help run the draft, that type of thing, if that's something that they're interested in. Um, I've also got some plain chase cards over here. I'm going to do that as a pack opening, and then I'm just going to give the whole thing to one of the future patrons. And I've got an Ajani versus Nicol Bolas uh, dual deck. That's one that I haven't done a pack opening on, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do an opening on the channel, and then after I do it, I'm going to end up giving it away. Um, and then we've got a stack of Modern Masters packs. Uh, those are going to be involved in the raffle with the Innistrad draft set. So there's going to be several different layers of things that can be won for that. Uh, look for those details. I hope to have those details out before the end of April. Still trying to put it together. I've never run something like this before. So if you've got any suggestions, please feel free to drop me an email. Uh, my email is brian at brianrowe.org. I'll have it up on the screen. Um, additionally, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been supporting the channel. It's been a wonderful ride. I've been doing this for over two years at this point, seriously as kind of a part-time hobby. And I'm looking to take the channel to the next level. Um, my birthday is actually coming up here in April, and I'm going to do some crazy fun stuff, including a lot of video production uh, for my birthday. It happens to be on April 3rd. I'm actually going to be pre-releasing out at Phoenix Comics on Capitol Hill uh, that evening. So if you want to come out and play some magic there, I definitely look forward to seeing people. Um, but I'm just going to try to do a lot of videos this month and see how it feels with the channel. I'm going to take a little bit of personal time off so that I can dedicate it to the channel and see how things go. Uh, so please enjoy the next month. Also, if, if you are a patron or you've just got any general questions, please feel free to email me. Email is the best way to get a hold of me. Um, one last thing, in these particular pack openings, I'm going to be taking the Portal 3 Kingdom cards that I got and the um, original Magic Art tokens that I recently did a review on their Kickstarter project. Um, and over the next few months, whenever I get a patron pack opening or I'm sending cards out to people, um, I'm just going to be randomly distributing some of these into the giveaways that I'm doing. I'd like to do more stuff like this and just uh, try to make it fun as a huge thank you uh, for the, supporting the channel and allowing me to turn this into something that is uh, slowly moving towards uh, becoming something professional for me. I really enjoy it. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, thank you guys so much. Take care. And until next time, choose the cards wisely.